Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney Hydea, and um, today I'm going to be telling you guys that I'm getting rid of my big boobies. <laughs> no, um, I am getting a breast reduction, and I'm so nervous. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I'm getting a breast reduction. If you guys did not know, uh, the bra size that I wear is a 36 double D. It's not as big as like other video, like girls that I've seen in other videos, but it's still big. Like, girl, carrying these things around is like carrying two jugs of water on your chest. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this video just in case people are out there like me. I've pretty much watched probably all the breast reduction videos on YouTube. I've read so many vlogs blogs from Pinterest and everything so I decided to make a video of my own journey through this breast reduction um so yeah I'm getting a breast reduction for those of you who do not know what that is it's pretty much when you have surgery and they take um, a certain amount of tissue breast tissue and fat from your breast and they sew you back up lift and everything else so that's pretty much what I'm getting done <laughs> um so why am I getting a breast reduction? So my chest has always been big, bigger than I guess average girls my age, my size. Um, I've always noticed that I've had that, which it, it runs in the family um, and it just does and it doesn't get better. And um, we'll talk about that later. It does not get better after having children. They just get bigger, 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 bigger. And they just get huge. Like they never stop growing. So, um, that is one of the main reasons why I'm getting, um, the breast reduction surgeries to kind of stop it before it gets any bigger. Um, also like with like my posture, my shoulders start to like round out a little bit when they're, and I try my best to sit back, but it's so hard to do once again with these big old bitties on my chest. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's another thing. Also, like, a little, like, minor uh, back and neck pains, stuff like that. Um, and not feeling comfortable with wearing things. Like, I don't feel comfortable wearing this, but because I'm sitting down, I'm kind of okay with it. And because it's about to be fixed, I'm okay with it. So that's why I'm, I'm even wearing this. Um, when am I getting my brush reduction? It is right now, what day is it? Guess what day it is. It's not hump day. It is Tuesday, July 21st, and today I actually have my pre-op appointment. Um, so yeah, next Monday I'm having surgery on the 27th, and I'm so freaking like, I don't know, I'm kind of scared, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm really just ready to get it over with and see the results, um, most importantly. So right now I'm going to talk to you about my consultation and insurance. So before I had the consultation, how I went about it is I went to the doctor, my primary care doctor. I went there for six months. Same thing. My back hurts my um, and my neck hurts. My back hurts and my neck hurts. I don't want to take any more pain medicine. I don't want to do anything else. My back hurts and my neck hurts. And... Um, she sent me to physical therapy, which was really, really nice. Um, but I believe, I think I had maybe two or three sessions, and two of those I paid out of pocket. So, yeah. I was like, um, this ain't working. <laughs> um, and then that's when she was like, okay, um, here's a, a list of plastic surgeons that I can refer you to, and blase, blase. I had a friend who actually had it done, so I was like, I'm just going to go with her doctor because I've been in their facility, I've kind of met him, and it's just kind of seemed familiar, and so like I was like, okay, well, I have one of my own, and he takes my insurance, so I gave her his name, his office number, and the address, and she referred me to him. Um, I'm not really sure how long it took, but someone from his office called me and was like, okay, hey, you know, we've gotten your referral and we can schedule a consultation. What a consultation is pretty much is he looks at your breast or he or she, your plastic surgeon, make sure that they're a board certified plastic surgeon and make sure you do your research and look at their work. 
Um, pretty much during the consultation, they will examine your breasts. They'll take either, sometimes they'll take your height and your weight so that they can determine if your um, insurance will pay for it. Um, every, in every insurance has different guidelines. So whatever your insurance is, just make sure um, you look up what their guidelines are if you want them to pay for it now. If you got that money to just pay for it, girl, you go, girl, do what you want then, sis. You got it, girl. <laughs> but um, if not, and you're like me, who don't have the coins to be shitting out for this, okay? Um, and you want your insurance to pay for it, just make sure that you read their guidelines and understand what they want you to do and everything else before they'll actually pay for it. Because sometimes, like mine, I had to go to the doctor for six months and pretty much showing them, like, okay, she's doing things before we recommend a, such drastic things such as surgery. So yeah, that's the rundown on that. So pretty much, yeah, during the consultation, he just kind of examined me, took down my height, my weight. I told him where my problems were. Um, he said that I would be a great candidate for it, but um, he needed to write a letter because he didn't want to remove as much because he didn't want me to be super flat chested and not have any cleavage. Um, I am somewhat curvy and he wanted me to really um, love my body and really like how they sat and he did not want them to be too small for my frame so yeah he sent the letter off and I believe this is in 2018 I believe um, and I believe we got the letter back saying okay yeah we'll cover it um, but one of the things which he or she will go over all of the the complications what could happen what you know what normally happens during, they're gonna go over all of that with you um, and come with your own questions as well that's what I tell you so one of the things that really got me back then was that there could be a really great chance of me never being able to breastfeed and I had a problem with that because I was like you know I was breastfed I want to breastfeed my children it's just too big of a decision for me right now back then it's two years ago so I was 21 and it was just too big of a decision and so I decided um, not to do it I think I had eight months to decide if I wanted to if I didn't do it within that eight months I would have to go back through so I didn't do it um, fast forward 2020 about maybe two months ago um, I was like okay this is getting to be too much I prayed about it and I was like weighing out my options and I was like you know what I feel like if it's meant for me to be um, to breastfeed um, I'll be able to I'll get that chance to do it somehow some way <laughs> um, so I was like you know what I'm so unhappy with my body that I want this breast reduction I'm tired of working out and they're just like literally coming out of my bra whenever I do burpees um, and when like running is just like they're just like big old thing like I said they're just sitting on your chest it's like two freaking gallons of milk on your chest and um, yeah so I was like okay let me call them back and let me just do the consultation and see where that gets me so they called me back and was like okay well it's been two years so you know we're gonna have to do a whole nother consultation good thing he still had like my charts my paperwork and stuff like that so it wasn't really that big of a deal when I went um, he was just pretty much like okay well we're gonna have to write another letter and that was June 16th I had my consultation I did not hear back from the insurance people literally until like last week sometime pretty much a month later and um, they approved it they approved it <laughs> and then I scheduled my pre-op appointment which I had today <laughs> and my pre-op appointment I had today and it really wasn't anything that serious he kind of just went back over the risk again he went back over the things that I had problems with and I also asked him about sizing I asked him if he can get me into a really really small C um, and he was like I will try to get you in a C so I'm wanting to be a small C I feel like that will really make me feel good I feel like I'll I'll be able to wear whatever shirts and whatever bras and bathing suits I want to wear I've contemplated this I really I, I'm telling you I've prayed on this I really have I've thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and I was like you know I don't want to live my life with any regrets so um, yeah I'm gonna do this 
going to deal with the consequences and I'm going to hold myself accountable, you know. Um, I'm miserable. <laughs> That's the best way that I can explain it is that I'm miserable. And so I think this is really going to be good for me and I think it's going to really make me happy. Um, my pre-op appointment was only 30 minutes, so it wasn't that long. He gave me my prescriptions. Uh, right here um, all of my prescriptions um, my HIPAA cleanse which is like a skin cleaner that you have to bathe with then I have the stuff that goes in your nose I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it stuff that goes in your nose um, and then I have my painkillers and stuff like that and I also bought some other stuff from Target today um, in preparation for my surgery but that's gonna be in another video guys um, I'm actually probably gonna upload this after I have the surgery my next video will be of my preparation so my items that I bought to prepare for my surgery uh, just in case any of you gals are having breast reduction surgery or maybe you just want to watch other surgeries and stuff like that <laughs> maybe this is just your thing that's fine too girl make sure you subscribe to my channel though okay um, and then my I'm gonna do a post-op video as well on how I feel and everything like that um, like I said this is just a personal journey for me um, it's very important that you know maybe I said something today that reached someone who is who has been wanting to have the surgery and didn't have the courage to or maybe your dilemma was the same as mine maybe it was the breastfeeding situation or who knows maybe it's something else but um for women um and these are things that we deal with these are real life moments and um i was really debating about even filming this that's pretty much it for my i'm having a breast reduction surgery um before i go i'm actually gonna show you like i'm not gonna like flash them or anything but um i'm gonna show you what my 36 double d's look like now you probably can't really tell from here but like i don't know i'm wearing a victoria's secret bra by the way but yeah, they're pretty large. Let me scoot back some. Okay. This Whoop. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty large compared to me. I'm like, look at me. Boobage. This pretty much takes up the whole frame. It's boobage. So yeah. Um. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you can see other updates and future updates for my surgery and how I like my boobies, well my new boobies. <laughs> and um, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you have any questions um, you need me to answer. I will love to help someone out there who's thinking about having the surgery or maybe you've already had the surgery and you want to just talk about our experiences. We're all girlfriends over here. Thanks guys for coming back to my channel. Bye.